Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last video, few problems we have completed on HRA exemption under section 10, subsection 13A. So the provisions regarding HRA are, before starting the next problem, we'll recap the provisions regarding HRA exemption. According to Income Tax Act 1961, when an employer gives HRA to the employee, the employee may get exemption under section 1013A on satisfying some conditions. The first condition, if the employee stays in a rented house and paying the rent, then only HRA exemption will be given. If the SSC is staying in his own house or in a relative's house where he is not paying any rent, no HRA exemption will be given. Whatever HRA received is fully taxable. So when HRA exemption is eligible, then all the employees are divided into two categories. Employees staying at four metropolitan cities, Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai. And employees staying at other places other than these four cities. So what is the amount of exemption? The least of the following three amounts is the exemption given. The first actual HRA received. Second, rent paid minus 10% of salary. Third one, 50% of salary for four metropolitan cities and 40% for other towns. The least among these three is allowed as exemption under section 10, subsection 13a. Remaining amount of HRA received is taxable. These are the provisions. And salary, the meaning of the term salary for HRA purpose is basic pay only da will be included if it enters for retirement benefit and commission if it is based on fixed percentage on turnover now in this video i'm continuing the problems on hra exemption so if you have not watched the earlier videos i suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel select the subject income tax for the assessment year 21 22 select the video of hra allowances select the video of allowances Watch the complete video, be acquainted with the provisions. Problems are based on the provisions. If you, if you have not understood the provision, you cannot be able to solve the problem. So before starting the next problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take a screenshot of the solutions of few problems, then I'll explain each and every point. Come on, see the ninth problem. <clears throat> problem number nine. Find out the amount of house rent allowance which shall be included in the income under the head salary in each of the following cases. It is asking you how much is the HRA taxable, not exempted. So first we calculate how much is exempted, then we have to calculate how much is taxable to be included in salary income. Right? So four cases are given A, B, C, D each case separate case so we have to find out in each case how much hra is taxable first case basic pay 10000 per month hra house rent allowance 2000 per month and entertainment allowance 3000 per annum dearness allowance 15% of basic actual rent paid is 1500 per month in guntur first of all Whenever, whenever HRA exemption is to be allowed, it depends on two things. First of all, SSC is paying the rent or not. If not paying the rent, no HRA exemption. If paying the rent, then we have to see where he stays. Where he stays? It is given he stays in Guntur. Guntur means other town, 40%. So first of all, you write the sentence, <clears throat> the SSC is paying the rent and stays at Guntur other town. <clears throat> so HRA is exempted to the least of the following three amounts. <clears throat> actual HRA received. The actual HRA received is given in the problem as 2000 per month. 
into 12, 24,000. Rent paid minus 10% of salary. Rent paid is 1500 per month into 12, 18,000. 1500 per month into 12, 18,000. Minus 10% of salary. Here salary means only basic will take. DA will not be taken because it is not entering for retirement benefit. Only D, only basic. Basic 10,000 per month. 10,000 per month into 12, 1,20,000. So 10% of 1,20,000, 12,000. 18,000 minus 12,000, 6,000. 40% of salary. So 40, why 40%? Because other term. So 40% of 1,20,000, 48,000. <clears throat> Least among these three, 6,000. So 6,000 is the exempted HRA. But now it is asking you taxable HRA. So actual HRA exempted under section 1013 is 6,000. Actual HRA received 24,000 minus exempted HRA 6,000. So taxable HRA 18,000. Sometime it will ask you only to find out exempted HRA. So we'll write down to here. But sometimes it will ask you to calculate how much is taxable HRA. So taxable is this. <coughs> First case completed. Second, <coughs> B, basic pay 16,100 per month, <coughs> DA 18%, HRA 20%, rent paid per month in Nagpur is 4,400 per month. Again, the SSC is paying the rent and stays at Nagpur, other town. So HRA is exempted to the least of the following three amounts. SSC paying the rent and stays at Nagpur, the exemption is least of the three. Actual HRA received. <coughs> Here actual HRA received is not given in amount. It is given 20%. 20% of what? Basic salary. The so basic salary is 16,100 per month. So 20% of, 20% is the, this one, uh, HRA. HRA is given in the problem 20%. So 20% of 16,100 into 12, 1 lakh 93,200, 20%. 38,640 is the actual HRA received. Now rent paid minus 10% of salary. Rent paid is given 4,400. So 4,400 into 12, 50 to 800 is the rent paid. Minus 10% of salary. Salary means basic salary in 1 lakh 93,200. So 10% 19,320. 52800 minus 19320, 33480. Next one is 40% because other town. 40% of 193200 comes to 77280. The least among these three is 33480. So HRA exempted 33480. <coughs> Actual HRA received is 38640. Exempted HRA is 33480. So taxable HRA is 5160. <coughs> <clears throat> Two cases completed. Now see it. Monthly emoluments basic pay 7800, DA 2000, CCA 1500, house rent allowance HRA 3000. He is paying a monthly rent of 2500 in Delhi. So here metro 50%. The SSC is paying the rent and stays at Delhi. So HRA is exempted to the list of the 43. Actual HRA received 3000 per month into 12, 36,000. <coughs> rent paid, <coughs> rent paid is 2500 per month. So 2500 into 12, 30,000. Minus 10% of salary, salary is 7800 per month into 12. So 7800 into 12, 93,600. 10% of 93,600, 9,360. So 30,000 minus 9,360, 20,640. Next one, 50% of salary because Delhi, Metro. So 50% of 93,600, it comes to 46,800. Least among these three is 20,640 is exempted. 20,640 is exempted. So taxable how much? Actual HRA received 36,000 minus exempted HRA 2640, 15,360 is the taxable HR. So we have completed C point, <coughs> D point. Yearly emoluments per annum. Basic pay 280,000, house rent allowance 60,000, DA 90,000, enters for retirement benefit for gratuity only. 
दैट मीन्स हियर डी ए इज एंट्रिंग फॉर रिटायरमेंट बेनिफिट तो डी ए शुड ऑल्सो बी इंक्लूडेड इन सैलरी तो हियर इन दिस केस सैलरी मीन्स बेसिक पे प्लस डी ए इन रिमेनिंग प्रीवियस एबीसी केसेस वी आर नॉट टेकन बिकॉज डी ए वॉज नॉट एंट्रिंग हियर डी ए इज एंट्रिंग दैट इज अव पॉइंट ओनली रेंट पेड इज टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड पर मंथ हियर एरिया इज नॉट गिवन वे आर द रेंट इज पेड so when nothing is given we assume other term 40% assess he pays the rent <clears throat> and stays at other term assumed not given so hra is exempted to the list of the following three amounts but first of all we calculate salary basic pay 280000 is given per annum da because it is entering for retirement benefit that's why i'm adding to so 370000 is the salary So ten percent of salary, ten percent of three lakh seventy thousand, thirty seven thousand, forty percent of three lakh seventy thousand, one lakh forty eight thousand. Basic calculations we have done. Now least of the three, actual HRA received sixty thousand given in the problem. Rent paid minus ten percent of salary. Rent paid is two thousand five hundred per month into twelve. It is given two thousand five hundred. Last line, thirty thousand <clears throat> minus ten percent of salary we have calculated thirty seven thousand. So thirty thousand minus thirty seven thousand, you are getting minus seven thousand. Then forty percent of salary already calculated one lakh forty eight thousand. But provision I explained you in the beginning video theory video. If any one of the three amount comes to zero or negative, no HRA exemption will be allowed. Actual HRA received is fully taxable. So first time we are coming this situation. Where one of the three amount is negative amount, so no exemption under Section Ten Thirteen A will be allowed. Actual HRA received sixty thousand is fully taxable. That's all. So D, all the four cases completed. Tenth, pro ninth problem we have completed. Now I am going to start the tenth one. Sri Jaya Janardhan Reddy, working in Madurai City. received the following emoluments during the financial year 2021 so basic pay 65000 per month da 21000 per month hra 12000 per month he took an accommodation in madurai city on a monthly rent of 12000 but not yet occupied the house and staying in father in law's house in the same street calculate the taxable portion of hra the new point in this problem is that ssc has taken a house on rent but not yet occupied he is still staying with his father in law without paying any rent income tax act says exemption under section 1013a will be allowed only if the ssc is staying in a rented house if the rented house is not yet occupied no exemption will be given even if he has taken on rent but not yet occupied <coughs> so no exemption under section 10 13 actual hra received how much 12000 per month into 12 12000 per month into 12 144000 is fully taxable no exemption so here sri jaya janardhan reddy the ssc has taken a house on rent but not yet occupied and staying in father in law's house so hra exemption is not no hra exemption is allowed no hra exemption is allowed actual hra received 12000 per month into 12 144000 is fully taxable that's it next 11th problem from the following particulars calculate gross income from salary of mr chidambaram government employee working in delhi for the assessment year 21 22 basic pay 26800 per month da 45% if nothing is given we assume da is not entering for retirement benefit hra 12.5% of salary basic pay he took a house low house on rent at the rate of 4200 per month but due to some litigation with the landlord rent is not paid for the last 4 months of the year that means in this case the new point is the ssc has taken the house on rent so hra exemption will be allowed 
but he has not paid the rent for all the 12 months. He has paid the rent only for 8 months. Remaining 4 months he has not paid due to some litigation. Income Tax Act is not bothered about whatever are the litigations. Income Tax Act says if you have not paid the rent, no exemption. So here exemption will be allowed for that period which he has paid the rent. How many months he has paid the rent? 8 months he has paid the rent. So exemption will also be given for 8 months. He has received the HRA for full year 12 months. For complete 12 months he has received HRA. But he has paid the rent only for 8 months. So exemption will be calculated only for 8 months. That is the new point in this problem. So here Mr. Chidambaram, HRA is received for 12 months but rent is paid only for 8 months. So exemption can be given only for 8 months. The exemption is list of the following three amounts. Actual HRA received. In the problem it is given HRA is 12.5% of basic salary. So what is the basic salary given? 26,800 per month into 12. So 26,800 per month into 12, 3,21,600. This is the basic salary for one year into 12.5% is the HRA. So 40,200 is the actual HRA received for the whole year by the SSC, by the employee. Rent paid minus 10% of salary. Monthly rent is given 4,200. But he has paid the rent only for 8 months. He has not paid for 12 months. So only 8 months rent we should take. So 4200 into 8, 33,600. Minus 10% of salary. Salary will also be taken for 8 months. So salary is 26,800 into 8 months. So 214400 into 10%. 21,440. So 33,600 minus 21,440. 12,160. Last one 50% because staying in Delhi. So 50% of salary, 50% of 26,800 into 8 months. All calculations will be made only for 8 months, but rent received is taken for uh, HRA received is taken for 12 months. HRA received for 12 months, but exemptions will be only up to 8 months. Calculations now 50% of salary 26,800 into 8, 214450 50%, 1,700. The least of these three amount is 12,160. Exemption under section 1013A is 12,160. So taxable how much? Actual HR received 40,200 minus exempted 12,160. So taxable HRA comes to 28,040. 28,040. It is asking you to calculate the gross income from salary. Gross income from salary. So here. Computation of gross income from salary. Basic pay. Monthly he is getting 26,800. For how many months? 12 months basic he is getting. 3,21,600. Dearness allowance. So dearness allowance is given 45% of what? Of basic. So 3,21,600 into 45%. 144,720. Taxable HRA. 28,040. 28,040. The total is 4,94,360. This is gross income from salary. So this is the end of problem number 11. <clears throat> so we have completed so many problems on HRA. So if you are watching regularly, definitely you will get a lot of command. Income tax subject depends on the provisions. If you are perfect in provisions, then all the problems will become easier. So this subject should, cannot be learned within a short span of uh, just like uh, one week or 10 days or 20 days. It requires long term planning. Normally students what I observed that they will come and watch the video just before examination. Once the notification from uh, university comes immediately they will start preparing. That will not suffice. If you want perfect knowledge watch from now onwards. Don't wait till the notification of exams comes. Every day watch the video, get acquainted with the provisions, then only you can get the good command, you can pass the examination, you can get confidence on the subject. Otherwise, this income tax subject is very, very difficult. Very difficult. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.